Hey guys, this is my first round robin discussion and today I want to talk about a specific kind of entitlement that's annoying as hell to me and I keep seeing it over and over and over and today uh, we're going to get into it. You say you want to try but you never do Sugar there's a reason why we lose You say you want to cry So let's get into it. People get upset when a YouTuber has sponsors or when a YouTuber is said to be making a lot of money. Uh, when PewDiePie was found to be making money, people started unsubscribing. When he, oh, he's this big YouTuber, he's making all this money. Beyond that, over and over and over again, I see people bragging about the fact that they use Adblock and then at the same time getting mad because people are making money off of YouTube. Uh, this is not just YouTube specific. This is almost anything where you're doing video, photography, things of that nature. Someone will ask you how much, uh, you'll quote them a price, and then they'll give you an argument. And that argument usually goes something like this, well, I could do this with my cell phone. So why should I pay you so much money? Well. If you thought it were easy and you could do it too, how come you're not doing it? Because you know it's of value. You know it's something that you can't do and therefore you're paying for it. Uh, there's a lot of things that I can do and I think someone may be able to do it better than me. I don't walk up to that person and say, well, I can do this. Well, no, I can do that, but obviously I think you can do it better and therefore I'm willing to give you money to do it. Now, this brings me back to YouTubers and uh, YouTube viewers. If you see somebody who you really like, you like this person, you've been watching their videos, you think they're cool, so you start watching the video. Now, you see commercials playing from that video, and you have no problem. Years later, you learn, oh, this person making a lot of money off of the work they do, and then you get mad because the person's making money. What the hell makes you think you're entitled to free stuff. Yes, I get it. YouTube is free. And YouTube has always been free. Even with YouTube Red, you can get it for free, you know, if you choose not to buy YouTube Red. But you gotta understand something. People don't do things out of the kindness of their heart. They do things to make money. You know, we had this whole thing with the, uh, with the ad, with, you know, the unmonetized videos and things. The argument there was that you could indeed make money with controversial videos and stuff. And as a matter of fact, we see consistently that that happens. But that's a different argument. Overall, YouTube's argument that we want to make money is a valid argument. Now, you have a lot of people who get upset about this kind of thing. Well, everybody's in it for money. Okay, well, let's see you quit your job and just do something you love. Oh, what's that? Uh, you got bills to pay? Oh, oh, you're the only person that's got bills to pay, huh? Oh, everybody has bills to pay? Oh, now you're getting it, right? This is why people do things for money. Because they need to pay stuff. They need to pay bills. Like, okay, personally, like, you know, you got a lot of people out here who will say, try to judge on how much money you should be making for what you're doing. Who the hell are you to judge that? If YouTube has a system, and the system is you get 55%, and we get 45%, which is pretty damn good, mind you, because a lot of distributors, they take the high money. They take the high end. So they take the 55% and they give you the 45 or they give you the small amount. But YouTube is taking the small amount and giving you the big amount. That's a, that's a pretty good deal. So with that being the case, YouTube, they're giving the creators a certain amount of money. Now, creators can get various ads, various sponsorships and things like that. Uh, you know, for what they do. And again, that goes to uh, any art that's done. If you're doing a movie, uh, you might not be getting paid for that movie, but you might be getting product placement in your film. I did a film where there was a lot of uh, product placement, but the product placement was kind of like, you know, uh, we had like SD cards that were placed in the film, but those SD cards actually offset the price of me actually having to buy 
SD cards because, well, they gave me a bunch of them. So things like that are actually helpful. But what people tend to do, and this is really something when it comes to art, they tend to undervalue art. They tend to not appreciate art. They assume if you're doing art, whether it's drawing, photography, videography, whatever, that you're just kind of wasting your time. And even when they need you, they don't see the reason that they should pay you. And I've never seen why people have this opinion when, even when I was doing, when I first started out and I couldn't pay people, I at least wanted to pay people. By my second film, I was at least paying the main actors. And by my third and fourth films, I was trying to pay everybody. So uh, nowadays, I like it's like almost everybody that's working on a film gets some kind of payment, even if it's not a large payment, because I can't make a you know I can't pay people a ton of cash, but I pay people something. And that's actually something that uh, I'm actually pretty pr proud of, because particularly in Chicago, when they get when people get involved in acting and stuff like that, a lot of people want you to act for free. So that's something that I I'm like no, I, I want to give you something, even if it's just paying for you to get here. I want to give you something for giving me the time and effort to be in a project that I'm doing. I don't want you to think that I don't think that what you're doing is worthwhile or that I don't think that um, you should be or that you should have something for what, you, uh, what you've done. Uh, as a matter of fact, just recently uh, I've been paying the uh, person who helped me with the videography in Epitaph Bread and Salt. I've been paying that person uh, for months now. Uh, every month I gave them a certain amount until they were paid off. So this idea uh, that people should not make money from what they do is foreign to me. And almost everybody who has this uh, opinion to me seems like an idiot that doesn't understand how the economy works. Uh, and I feel the same way about people who say, oh, they pay these athletes so much, uh, they should be giving that to the schools. The, 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 the government doesn't pay athletes. They don't pay athletes. The government makes their money off of athletes. The government makes their money off of sports. That's why the government will help, happily help people get a sports arena. Because the amount of money the government makes off of those arenas through taxes and things like that and off of the athletes themselves, they see that as a worthy goal. They say, I mean, a worthy thing to do. We will make enough, a lot of money off of this over time. So we'll help you get an arena. But the athletes, the athletes themselves are paid by merchandising and the uh, money that you give when you, that you give when you pay for a seat. The athletes who are actually workers are paid by people who get paid specifically from you buying things from them. So no, they shouldn't give that money to the schools because they don't have the money to give. It's not their money. And I want to say this. You are not entitled to random stuff. You're not entitled to people's, uh, people's work. If you are viewing YouTube and somebody is on YouTube and they're giving you something, you're not paying for it. And this is where it gets really annoying to me because it gets to a point where you're not coming out of pocket for anything. You have an internet connection, which you use for all your internet stuff. Yet somehow you're annoyed that somebody on the internet is making money off of doing something that you aren't paying for. So that says to me that you're kind of a nut job. There's something really kind of wrong with you. Because I don't know any point where, people, where I stopped and went, man, uh, this person's making a lot of money. They haven't done anything wrong or anything bad to me. They're just making a lot of money. I shouldn't support them because they're making money entertaining me. No, if you're making money entertaining me, I'm going to support you because I want to keep being entertained by you. So I understand that a lot of this comes from young kids who are not the brightest or sharpest uh, tools in the shed. I get it. But at the same time, there's a lot of older people who feel this way too, who feel, why should I pay for something? Well, you should pay for something because things aren't free. And the things that are free are usually ad supported. So the one thing you can't do is number one, brag about using ad block and then be mad about somebody having sponsors, which I have seen that. I've seen people say, well, I use ad block and blah, blah, blah. So how do you expect this person to be paid? Oh, well, you should do it for love. 
when, when the landlord comes and says, I want my, my rent, I have never been able to walk up to my landlord and say, hey man, I love you so much. Landlord said, I love you too. Give me my damn money. That's what he wants. He wants his money. Okay? So, until you are, start, are able to pay bills with love or pay bills with whatever the hell, whatever, whatever the ethereal thing you're paying bills with, I don't think that you should be telling people that they shouldn't be making money off of their art or you should be belittling people for doing so or telling people to get a real job. Well, uh, well, you chose to do YouTube. You don't have to do YouTube. You don't have to do your job. You don't have to work at Nicky D's as a fry cook. But you're doing it. Why are you doing it? Because you need to put food on the table, right? And just as YouTube may be unstable or whatever the thing it is, uh, McDonald's are looking, right now McDonald's is looking at, hey, we can get this done with machines. They're looking at that right now. Everybody and their mama is looking at how I can get something done with a machine. So before you walk around thinking, well, if YouTube is so unstable, you chose that job, you don't have to do YouTube. Yeah, you chose your job too, and you ain't got to do what you're doing. And that job is not stable because everybody is looking to automate right now. So you should think before you talk, and you should also think about, hey, you need to pay bills. Everyone else needs to pay bills. So maybe you should think a little bit about your attitude toward people when you think what they're doing is not valuable, yet you're also consuming it. So that's it. That's that's my my video for today. So hope you guys, uh, you know, I'm I'm pretty sure with everybody here, uh, particularly in the Breakfast Club, being YouTubers, I don't know uh, how many are actually thinking hey, I'm going to do this for a living, or hey, you know, I'm, I'm getting extra money off of this. But for those who are, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a very interesting topic. And this is the point I want to make real quick before I go to. People on TV do the same thing. You see advertisements because they advertise, and they make millions of dollars, and they're just on-screen talent. Your average YouTuber is camera person, uh, uh, camera person, uh, on-screen talent as well as editor etc etc and there are usually in the bigger youtubers have you know actually like Frank uh, Philip DeFranco and others like that uh, the Young Turks these other kind of organizations they have people working for them so they're actually creating work and it's like this thing that people don't understand there people somehow think yeah but you should be doing that for free you should be hiring all these people it's like do you, do you know where money comes from it's not something that you just pull out of your ass. It's like you literally have to do something, create a product, have a service, something to get paid. So, I don't know. I think people are out of their freaking minds nowadays. So, all right, guys. That's it for me. Nathan Brandon Masters, Breakfast Club Wednesdays. You guys have a good day. And I my love if you feel like i do right now don't say you're on the run to the other side my love you say you wanna try